Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com. Today's tutorial we will look at preventing duplicates in Excel. On the spreadsheet on screen at the moment, in column A, we have a list of numbers. These numbers might represent invoice numbers or product codes, but it is some value that we cannot enter more than once. We would like Excel to prevent any duplicate entries for us. To do this, we will use the data validation tool. First thing we want to do is select the whole of column A. So it doesn't matter what row we are on, whether it's row 50 or row 5000, Excel will continue to prevent us entering duplicate values. With column A selected, we'll click on the data tab and then on the data validation button to open up the data validation tool. Now we're going to need to use a formula uh, to perform this task. So from the allow drop down list, we choose custom. And in the formula tab, we're going to use the count if function. Now, what we need the count if function to do is to look across the whole of column A. So we need a dynamic range. I'm going to enter A1 to start with, with the dollar signs to fix or make that serifference absolute. And for the other side of the range, at the other end, I'll make the row relative to make sure that no matter what cell I'm entering a new value into then the, the validation criteria will expand to that range. Also need to enter a similar thing for what we're actually going to check. So this next argument I've entered here is the value that the user is currently typing into. So it's going to look at that value currently A1 but that will, that will expand with you know, it will be whatever cell you have selected and it will check it against every other value in that range and count how many times it occurs. Now this last bit we're going to enter is to check that it only occurs once. If it occurs any more than once, that is against the validation criteria and Excel will prevent it from happening and also provide a message to the user to, to inform them, which is our next step. Our formula is now entered, so we're going to click on the error alert tab and we're going to type in an error alert or a message for the user so they are aware of what's going on what they may have done wrong uh, and can hopefully rectify it you have entered a duplicate value and I'll click on OK and that should be it done see every value we currently have in that range is unique but if I click into cell A11, the next one down, and I'll type a unique entry first of all, and Excel's happy with what I'm doing. In an Excel, if I type one that already exists, I get the error alert uh, with our customized solution saying that we have entered a duplicate value. And that's it. That's how you can prevent duplicates in Excel. Thank you for watching. Please check out some of our other tutorials and videos on computergargod.com. Come check us out on our YouTube channel to see what other videos we have to offer.